So, you're in the office, but you might not have your own office. I've uh, been lucky enough to find myself a room here to do this uh, recording, and your video conferencing and your meetings, you may not be afforded that luxury. Um, but there's still simple solutions. Now, the, easy of the easiest of those uh, will be to get yourself some earphones, not necessarily with a microphone, but preferably with a microphone. Uh, some of your phones may already have come with these, especially the older iPhones. Uh, the newer iPhones might not have uh, the right connector there, but you can pick up earphones like these really easily uh, with the microphone in most local shops still, uh, or just order them online. Um, it's important that you have earphones, I think, because what you may not realize is you can have feedback. Um, and that's where the sound from your computer is going back into the microphone, causing that screeching or poor quality of sound. If you're in a busy environment, the microphone will struggle. So it's very important that we make sure that we're in an environment where disruptions can be a minimal. If someone walks through the background as they're just there, that's not a problem. They haven't affected my audio. And the use of earphones, uh, preferably with a microphone attached, will certainly help you. The next video will show you what that sounds like for a comparison. So the first option, the microphone. Um, the closer your microphone is to your voice, the better it is. People always overlook sound, um, but it can be the most vital. Steps to help your sound, uh, to make your video more professional, are rooms that don't have that many reflective surfaces. If you can find yourself one of those rooms, even better. Uh, you might be able to get away with just using the microphone off your laptop, or the computer that you're running. If you can't, the microphone option is the next best thing. You can buy professional microphones or, or very standard microphones for about 20, 30 pounds online to really get a, a deep crisp sound, but usually you'll be okay getting away with this microphone. I'm gonna switch over to um, the microphone from the computer to show you what the difference of sound quality is like. Uh, on the computer I'm using, I'm hoping there won't be that much of a difference, but we'll see. So although I'm wearing my headpiece, I've switched the microphone to the internal microphone on the computer. Um, let's see if you can see any difference between that. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't, but it's worth testing that. Just recording a short video of yourself and listening back to see which is the best option. So I've listened back to the two and I could definitely tell a difference with the microphone uh, on the computer being uh, much tinnier uh, than the one on this headpiece. So people are used to seeing uh, video conferencing with people with headphones. It avoids feedback, nasty sounds that just isn't professional and gives you a slightly better sound. So worth going out and purchasing one of those today if you're going to rely on video conferencing a, a great deal.